just like Gal Gadot with a lot of nerds wet dreams playing Wonder Woman. But apparently you might not have that coming forward now because we brought this up before last week that apparently she's coming back to be Wonder Woman. That's what Gal Gadot said. She said in an interview and then more stuff has come out now since then. But she said she had a sit down with James Gunn about moving forward after Wonder Woman 3 was canceled with Patty Jenkins. And what she said now moving forward, she said her and James Gunn and Peter Safran sat down and they had this conversation. She said, I was invited to a meeting with James Gunn and Saffron and they told me, and I'm quoting, you're in the best hands. We're going to develop Wonder Woman 3 with you and we love you as Wonder Woman. You have nothing to worry about. And then she said, so time will tell. So, you know, that's where she was saying, like, I'm going to be Wonder Woman moving forward. But now you have reports coming from Variety and Deadline saying, like, no, this is wrong. We know what we have insider in, like, you know, insiders telling us Isn't that she the most inside you could get who the fuck else was in I, that meeting i mean well they're saying <laughs> insiders and everybody online is listening to variety and deadline because that's what people do because they're very well known that they have sources in the entertainment industry yeah so because they said that people are like well then she must be lying and i'm just like why would she lie about this if james gunn said this to her it she's probably not meant do that shit she's not gonna lie on social media that's ridiculous. I, I, it yeah. seems weird to me but she also said, like, you know, like, I don't, I don't remember James Gunn has not, he has not commented on any of this yet, which is a big thing that should be a telltale sign. Usually he shuts shit down right away. He hasn't said a word about it. It's just like when they were casting Superman and he didn't talk about, you know, about corn sweat being yep. cast. He didn't, you know, he didn't say a word about it because, because he knew it was real. And so I think he's not saying anything because I think it is an idea. I think they do like her, but I think it will be a reboot in a lot of ways. But they didn't like Patty Jenkins' script. They, I, I know when, he, when it first came out, he said that it was too similar to Wonder Woman 2. And that's why Wonder they want to do something different. And they were also so saying good. because, you know, rebooting, it doesn't work moving forward. So and so there were a lot of problems with that. But in the second one, got got they got bombed. People like went after the second one. You're right. Terrible. But so I so think bad. that... That the, the, everybody online needs to calm down again. I said this about Jonathan Majors last week, too. You got to calm down until the facts come out, you know, because people will see something and be like, oh, this must mean it's fact. It doesn't mean it's fact, you know. And I think I would trust her word, especially because James Gunn hasn't said anything over a variety article. I'm just saying. So, but they're still saying that she's done as Wonder Woman. This isn't true. But me personally, I think there's some fact here. I don't think she would say this unless she did have a conversation with Saffron and with Gunn and, and Gunn hasn't debunked everything. So, I mean, I just think it's just, it's just noise and everyone wants to talk about it. Oh, it's this, but I think it's just fucking noise. And it, of course it's not in their slate right now because they don't have a script there is for no it. Slate right there, now. there is no slate for that. So they're waiting <laughs> until they get to that point. They're building a new universe over again, you know? So bring up, yeah. what do you think? Are you in the same boat then? You think the same shit? You think that this is just noise and we shouldn't listen to variety? I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I ever, like, you're basically accusing her of lying, right? So like, 100%. you're going to come out with all of these reports calling her a liar. Like, she is a very respectable actress. She is not the type of person that like goes on social media and says dumb shit. You know what I mean? Like, she's, she is probably one of the most, um, reserved from the media like you know an, an actor that's very reserved from the media which is you know hard to do as an actor especially someone who played wonder woman like you know when and when she went into audition for wonder woman she didn't even know what she was auditioning for like that's how that's like super secret the way that they do these things right she didn't say she like i just i don't see a world in which she would lie about something like this oh it's a super hot picture of her um, I just like I just don't. I mean, she's that's flawless. She's a babe. Um, I, she's a babe. Flawless that shot. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I just I don't I just don't see. I, and and the fact that someone is accusing someone like her of lying is ridiculous. When like you know like Kim Kardashian says something about Balenciaga and everyone's like, oh my god, this must be the truth. Like no no, Kim Kardashian literally got famous from a sex tape. Like all she does is lie. Like, I, but but you're gonna <laughs> trust her because she has 65 bazillion followers and has like a dumb reality show. But Gal Gadot must be lying that she had a, a fucking meeting with Peter Saffron and fucking James Gunn. It just sounds ridiculous to me. Yeah. And sorry, I didn't mean to like throw Kim under the bus there, but I was just trying to think of but somebody. That was fucked up. No, no, yeah. No credibility. Yeah. Can you no please credibility. apologize to yeah, Kim Kardashian, like Sabrina? No, I shan't apologize to her. I apologize <laughs> for bringing her up for no reason. And to the Twitterverse, I should say the I reached, I was like, who can I think of that is an incredible human being that people believe? She came to mind. 
I don't know. I could have picked her ex-husband. She's Kanye. a respectable human being, Sabrina. Could have done it. Um, I'm just saying. I just I don't. I think it's ridiculous that people would think that. Mm. I, I, I and I I feel badly for her that people are putting her in that position and putting her character at fault like that. And especially while no one knows, like your insider info, like fuck off, like just keep it to yourself. It's because there's not enough news happening because we're yeah. in a strike. So people are just Absolutely. grasping at straws, yeah. Yeah. which is fucked You're up and not cool. Exactly Kindly leave That's your hands off the hot ass Gal Gadot, please and thank you. Everyone's like, I but I would like to put like, my hands is... on Gal Gadot's ass. As, as would I. Rachel, tell me about that a little bit. So what do you think about Gal Gadot's <laughs> ass and her Wonder any, Woman any body, so you, you want this to continue then, right? I agree. <laughs> Absolutely not. I want to be on you. Shit about the Wonder Woman. <laughs> 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 does, honestly does anybody care about wonder woman franchise the does first one was really care? good the third the first yeah, one the was second good one fucking sucked it really did yeah, i know the She's second one was in, something uh, Zack snyder's reboot she was you could phenomenal. put her in so oh. many other oh, yeah. the snyder like, cut she... yeah the snyder cut yeah yeah 100 percent she was. Yeah, she was fantastic um, in that. I'm and that's where it not shows that you. Big of a Full fucking cuts better. nerd, so I didn't watch it. <laughs> wow. Really? Oh, you're missing out on it though. I'm gonna tell you this, nerd, <laughs> nerd nation, because you are actually a nerd. Um, I'm gonna tell you this. That movie, it was four hours long, and I literally was like, I wanted to stab myself in the eye when it started because I was like, I don't want to watch four long. hours of this. But it it went by so quick. I didn't even notice that it was four I hours. Was sucked in. I mean, Fair. too. It was so much oh, more compelling and so much better than uh, Josh Sweden touches children fucking uh, cut. Jo Josh Sweden touches that. children. He yeah. does. He did. <laughs> the children Google, Google Buffy. <laughs> Google Buffy and him. It was not good. Yeah, he did some shady <laughs> stuff back then. Not that. Good. I, I, too bad B2 wasn't around then. He wouldn't have even made Justice League. Well, they, they, I mean, I mean, the thing yeah. is about, you know, the Josh Whedon thing, too. It's like, I remember when it came out and they were talking about how you know, he wasn't allowed to be alone with the young girl on the show ever. It was like a whole thing that the PAs and the ADs Michelle made Jackson sure that he wouldn't be. Yeah. Yes, Michelle. Look and, at you. And, uh, and, you know, it's really unfortunate <laughs> because then she puts forward about like later on, like what it was like, you know, with that situation. So. And, and what about the other girl, Eliza Dushku? Eliza Dushku. Didn't Fuck she you know that she them too? Get my hands on. That was like, yeah, get in there. I wouldn't that mind that like so much. Crush. I don't think you're alone in that boat here, you know? I worked on that show Dollhouse, and I was like a yoga, uh, I, I was like the yoga choreographer on Dollhouse. <laughs> and I like she was like in like a yoga. Yoga flame. Uh, like, I was like, Amazing. oh, God. It was like a bunch of hot chicks in yoga clothes. And I was like, I can't Amazing. believe I get to teach these people. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Epic. 10 out of 10. Would love to live that life experience. <laughs> right? So, Spencer, tell me about Gal Gadot. What do you think about her as Wonder Woman? You like that hot ass? It's like a thinking? hump of your gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Pride Month. Like it's not Pride Month, Sabrina. Like Rachel. Okay, be a little bit less fucking gay, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> no, do you like her as Wonder Woman? You think that she, this is all false, I should say. She's going to be Wonder Woman probably still. Yeah, let's not talk about her, but uh, let's talk about someone else. Uh, yeah, no, I I do like her as Wonder Woman. I uh, I don't know without <laughs> no, you know. Oh, good. God, <laughs> yikes! Um, two suck. One was all right. Really liked Chris Pine. Uh, if I'm being honest with you, and yeah, Chris Pine is so see, good. Yeah, he's so great. Uh, but like, I don't see any of this. Work. I'd also like, get my hands on that, by the way. Yeah, how's it work, uh, Spencer? Like I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know where anything is going anymore. Um, like, how does it all connect <laughs> you to keep, like, what? Not keep Superman, but keep Wonder Woman. And now she's kind of, like, older than Superman. And Aquaman's still there. I don't know. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, to me, it doesn't make any sense. They met with her I and see, they were like, I see your point. Oh, we love you. We love you so much. No, I promise we're going to keep you, in, like, in the talks and in the works. We're going to make this movie. I promise we're going to finish it out right. And then. Time goes by, and he fucking has like ten other projects, and he's got all this other shit. And then so he's like, "Hey, weren't you gonna make that thing with?" And he's like, "Ah, ah, ah, ah." ah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Can you imagine? Uh, She's calling yeah. him up. She's like, "Where's yeah, one like, on three? Uh, Twitter is like blowing up. He's like, oh, "Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Uh, I fucking right, said that, didn't I? I fucking yeah, said that. Yeah. Oh uh, no. Hardcore's like, uh, we should address this. He's like, no, we shouldn't. Yeah, he is no. like, <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. I don't damage control. I don't think it's gonna be good. I don't think if they make a three, it's gonna be very good. Their DC's not looking great. I think the Flash is supposed to be the beginning of the slate, right? 
Right, no, the Flash is supposed to reset the timeline. So James Gunn has not okay. done anything yet. His first okay, thing well, is going to be Superman Legacy. Yeah. I mean, the Flash. Where does Blue yeah. Beetle fit into any of that? <laughs> Blue Beetle, yeah, they said that Blue Beetle is the supposed to be continuing forward in the new universe. That's what James Gunn but said. But it's that, also yeah. not a James Gunn. It's not helmed yes. by James Gunn. But James Gunn yeah. said right. that the actors would stay, the cast, all the cast, and everything would be moving it. forward. It would be. If you were going to do another yeah. Blue Burn Beetle it. thing, like, I mean, if Burn you look it. at the slate, like, where does Blue Beetle Blue Beetle's going to bomb like a motherfucker, by the way. It's oh, already looking it really good. bad at the box office. Oh, it does look good, but no. I, the thing is, we talked about this before. It's like the fact that this is before James Gunn. People aren't watching it because they don't believe it's part of the universe. And it's like the the the, the pre-sale I, numbers I, are I, fucking low. And I, I, I think it's going to bomb. The general public cares that much about who's running the studio at that point. Like us. No, they nerds. do because the D- we, care. DC we has know. been fucked for so long. Like I feel like people right. are like, and James Gunn is so good. Like after right. the success yeah. of of uh, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. and Peacemaker, right. um, I feel like people are looking. like really looking forward to that. Right. And so, so like, good. I yeah, think that there are certain people who are like, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm gonna wait until he takes over. You know. And I don't disagree Honestly. on any of those points, but I think the general theater going audience is not nearly as invested. Why are we dancing? What's up? Peacemaker, Peacemaker, Joe. So that's, good. That's like, it, he always you know? skips the theme so when we watched it. I only saw the theme oh, like once or twice. No. He, this is a fun fact. He so specifically fun. made that the uh, intro credit so that people wouldn't skip it. And I never skipped it once. No, nope. so good. <laughs> I thought that. I thought that never skipped great. it once. <laughs> nice. It's so fucking good. Nice. But the thing is, like, because people are devil, scared about. There's <laughs> Lexi. Lexi! <laughs> she Lexi. says that Blue Beetle is a symbiotic alien ah, in the I comics. And, and this is, he's tech, so I don't know how it's going to work. Um, it's yeah, now it's tech. It's alien tech. Yeah. But. I love the kid from Karate Kid who played, you know, actually he's, he's really good. And I think that he does a great job in this trailer. So, I mean, I feel like he's going to be great playing the part. Look good. It looks good. Even, even, uh, uh, freaking his dad in it, uh, George, um, uh, uh, Lopez. Lopez. George, that's George George, Lopez. I don't, yeah. Yeah. I, sometimes I'm like, I don't really, sometimes I'm like, I feel like I'm like this guy, but I, I thought he did a great job in it. I thought he did a great job in the trailer. I think it works, you know? I hate I hate being like them like this fucking guy, you know. But like there he is, he's fucking killing it. It works, it works this time for me. This and then sometimes it does guy. work. Other times I'm like this fucking guy doing the same shit again, same shtick, same day, different movie, you know. But this it works. So that's why they hired him because they wanted that shit for this but part. Th- that's fucking yeah. great casting though. That's great <laughs> casting. So I think it'll be good, but I think it's not gonna do well. And I think uh, overall, Wonder Woman, I, she might be she might be Wonder Woman again, or it, it might be like Spencer good, said, it was something that James Gunn said to. Lighten the load of being like we're not gonna do Wonder Woman three, but he still said it, so maybe he had an idea for her to come back eventually. But only time will tell what happens. I just think that the the, the factor out like Variety, be like oh Variety's right because Variety said sources, and it's like that must be fucking the Holy Grail. I think it's bullshit. And I think people that go online to be like oh yeah Variety said it, so that's right, so, but they didn't have any specific quote from anybody or any kind of real sources. They just mm-hmm. said sources. I would never buy that we shit. Just what that. it is. <laughs>